I'm here to inform you what um, I'm here to inform you about what the Common Core is and um, how it's implemented in the state of California and all in other states. Um, I had a friend that uh, moved from California to Texas. He moved from, uh, to Texas. We were both in sixth grade. Um, he ended up going to like the middle fifth grade or something like that, um, all because he was like. 12 years old or something, I don't even know how old he was, but um, it was based on his age, so that's how they put him on that grade, but he was way more advanced than that, so it was just pretty much a waste of time, it was a year of, uh, going to waste. Um, you should listen to my speech because uh, it not only lands your child in a great college, but he can maybe get a, a great career out of it. And this speech, I will inform you about um, what the Common Core is. Um, uh, the difference between the um, currently STAR test and the new CCSS assessment that we're going to have in uh, 2014. And um, I'm going to explain the important changes in math and uh, language arts. Uh, what the Common Core is, uh, it's adopted by 45 states in um, 2010. Uh, what the Common Core is, uh, is uh, it tells every state or every educational system what to uh, teach their students and how to teach it. Um, it also... Um, it also it will, it will help your um, child get a better education even if they move states and are out. They'll still be learning the same exact thing as everyone else. Um, and uh, secondly, I will inform you about uh, the difference between the STAR test and the new CCSS assessment. Uh, the uh, STAR test, it's only uh, paper and pencil, uh, and it's only multiple choice, and it's only on a Scantron. That's all they have. But with the new uh, CCSS assessment, it's going to be digital. Uh, you have the option to, uh, to do it with uh, paper and pencil, but I think it's only for like three years. Uh, and. Um, also, the STAR test, um, it's taken around 85% of the school year, which is a lot more. Uh, the new CCS assessment, it'll only take um, the last month of school, which won't be as much. And um, third, I will inform you about uh, the important changes in math and uh, language arts. In uh, language arts, you still be um, taught the same things. But uh, they were arguing on how, uh, in the past years, they've been using exactly like the same books, like Huckleberry Finn, and like everyone has read those books. They were arguing on how like to switch up a little bit, so every school year they would read like different novels, like uh, fiction as well as nonfiction. Um, Uh, the reason why they chose uh, math and language arts especially was because uh, they know that students will use that like in their life for sure. I don't like science and all that stuff. They might not major in that. But they know that you will be using math in the rest of your life as well as language arts. That's why they picked those two major ones. Also, for the math, they'll still be teaching like practically the same thing just that they'll switch it up a little bit. They'll, um, it's still gonna pretty much be based on like, you have to test for it. Like say you, it's all based on whatever your capability of in math. In, in this speech, I inform you about what the Common Core is, 
what's the difference between the STAR test and the assessment test, and the important changes in math and language arts.